factors that determine the degree of decentralization in an organization. 1. Organizational size. Larger organizations tend to have a higher degree of decentralization to distribute decision-making authority across different levels and locations. Organizational structure. The structure of an organization, such as divisional or matrix structure, can influence the degree of decentralization by defining the distribution of power and decision-making across units or functions. 3. Business complexity. Highly complex businesses may require a higher degree of decentralization to ensure timely decision-making and responsiveness to local market conditions. Strategy. The nature of the business strategy, such as pursuing local responsiveness or global integration, can influence the degree of decentralization required to effectively execute the strategy. Five. Decision-making speed. If quick decision-making is crucial, decentralization can empower lower-level managers to make decisions without seeking approval from higher levels. 6. Information and Communication Technology Advanced technology can enable decentralized decision-making by facilitating rapid information sharing and coordination across different levels and locations. 7. Employee Competence and Expertise Higher levels of employee competence and expertise can support decentralization by ensuring that decision-makers at lower levels possess the necessary knowledge and skills. 8. Organizational culture. A culture that values empowerment, autonomy, and trust can support decentralization by encouraging managers at different levels to take ownership and make decisions independently. 9. Market conditions. Market dynamics, such as local customer preferences or regulatory requirements, may necessitate decentralization to tailor products, services, and strategies to specific markets. Risk Tolerance Organizations with a higher risk tolerance may opt for decentralization to empower local managers to take calculated risks and seize opportunities. 11. Availability of resources Adequate resources, both financial and human, are essential for decentralization as lower-level managers need sufficient resources to make independent decisions. 12. Legal and regulatory environment. Legal and regulatory requirements can influence the degree of decentralization, especially in industries with strict compliance or reporting obligations. 13. Geographical dispersion. If an organization operates in multiple locations, decentralization can facilitate local decision-making that aligns with regional needs and conditions. 14. Stakeholder expectations. The expectations of stakeholders, such as customers, shareholders, or community members, can impact the degree of decentralization required to meet their specific demands. 15. Management philosophy. The management's philosophy and leadership style can influence the degree of decentralization, as some leaders prefer a more centralized approach while others promote empowerment and autonomy. 15. These factors collectively determine the degree of decentralization in an organization, with each organization weighing these factors based on its unique context and strategic objectives.